Get a handle on the hundreds of trashed RVs that are just showing up on city streets, many with homeless people living inside. City leaders say the problem is actually an epidemic. Our Lisa Balick is live at Lens Park. So, Lisa, you got some answers today from City Hall. Yes, and I found out there's actually an unwritten city policy not to tow any of those RVs where people are actually living inside them. Even though city law clearly says you cannot park an RV overnight on city streets like this sign by the park says. But all this may be about to change. And it got to be that it was just scary to come down the street. We'd have to actually cross the street, walk over there, and then come this way. Nora Visser doesn't like what she's seeing. RVs lived in by homeless people back on our southeast Portland street. This was a major, major problem over here. Uh, like what I was over there? Uh, it was a, was a small trailer, and then there was a big uh, section of tents on the sidewalk. The entire entire sidewalk was has, was blocked off. She tells me neighborhood organizers helped get the city to move them out and clean up the area. But now, the no parking signs they put up have been ripped down campers coming back. We found block after block, from North Portland to St. John's to Southeast, filled with dozens of trashed RVs permanently parked on city streets. Many are just shells, metal pulled out, garbage piled up inside and out, many showing signs of people sleeping inside. Parking an RV on a city street overnight is against the law. Many have a tow sticker already on them, but the city's abandoned vehicle office tells me they get almost a thousand calls a week to remove them and there's no place to store the RVs. We are overwhelmed with I asked City Commissioner Dan Salzman, head of the Transportation Bureau, if it's true the city won't tow if someone's living inside. He says that's the unwritten policy, for now, and it may be about to change. And I think the council may be willing to revisit the question of whether uh, we will tow uh, RVs, abandoned RVs, or RVs with people living them. We approached these RVs where there's egregious signs of human waste, drug paraphernalia, and we tell the residents they have to get out of this RV because it is going to be towed. The commissioner tells me that change could happen within a month. Now, if you feel very strongly about this, contact your city commissioner and also see if you can get some of these signs just installed today alongside Lens Park up in your neighborhood. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.